What is going on, guys and gals? Brooklyn Bound the Raid Scientist here, and today we're going to refresh your memory, or maybe even show you if it's your first time, on how to do the Riven Encounter from Last Wish legit. We know that there's a new Pantheon mode coming out soon, and it's going to feature a Raid Boss Gauntlet with escalating power deltas. Now, I'm guessing here, but I think that Riven at some point is going to be one of the encounters we have to do. And with each increased difficulty, it's going to mean you're doing less and less damage to the bosses. So there's a likelihood that teams may not be able to cheese this encounter anymore. Who knows? Maybe she'll still be able to be one phase, but if not, teams are going to need to do this encounter the way it was intended. And historically, many people have no idea how to. So today, I'm going to explain it in a abridged way for those that are interested. If you want a full 20 to 30 minute explanation, I have a full Last Wish Raid Guide on my channel, and you can also watch that. So, first thing you need to do is split your teams into two groups of three, as you'll be split up for two thirds of this fight. You'll also want to make sure you know the symbol callouts as shown, and the numbers of Riven's eyes. You'll also want to spec your loadouts and weapons into boss damage. Snipers have come full circle from the Forsaken days, and I highly anticipate Whisper being a solid option, but grenade launchers, well of radiance, bubbles, golden guns, rockets should all be good too. Just be careful you don't have something equipped that might proc and damage her eyes during the damage phase, as shooting her eyes incorrectly will wipe the team. Things like Galahorn or Outbreak might not be the best options. After splitting up your teams, note that three people will go left and be on the blue or crystal side, and three people will go right and be on the yellow or the tree side. All six players will step on plates and drop down. Know that this encounter takes place on three floors. Once you step on the plates, you'll drop down to the bottom floor, and then throughout the fight, work your way back up to the third and top floor where you started. Each team will be working independently on the first two floors on their sides, and then all six will join up together on the top floor. When you drop down to the first floor, each team will have two tasks to worry about. Task one will be to deal with Riven in some way by either stunning her or damaging her. And task two will be activating the lifts so you can move up to the next floor. This is all on a hidden timer, so the mechanics all have to be executed quickly so Riven doesn't wipe you. So for task one, dealing with Riven, each team will deal with her differently. One team will need to stun and flinch her and send her away over to the other team who will damage her and shoot her in the eyes. If you enter your room and Riven's already there waiting, then you're on the stunning and flinching team. To stun and flinch her, you have to either bait her tentacle to slam to the ground and shoot it with enough damage, or if she's breathing fire, shoot her in the mouth when it glows red and do enough damage that way. Either way, once you flinch her, two of her 10 eyes will glow white and it's essential you call them out to the team on the other side of which one they are. Here's a map of the eyes and what I number them. Feel free to call them whatever you want, but just make sure your team is all on the same page. If the stunning and flinching team doesn't get a good look at the eyes, it's probably gonna be a wipe, so make sure you're paying attention. Now, once the stunning team flinches her and calls out the eyes, Riven will leave and go over to the other side for damage phase. As soon as she shows up for the other team waiting, drop a well of radiance or a bubble and get ready to DPS. While you can damage her on the hand, as most sorting players remember, her damage spot is actually the taken blight in her mouth. You get about 10 to 12 seconds of damage before she will close her mouth and then try to wipe the raid. And at this point, you have to shoot the two eyes that were called out by the flinching team, and you have to shoot them very close together in time. If you shoot the wrong one, or take too long to shoot both, you'll wipe. So have one person ready to do this. Now, both teams have completed their deal with Riven task, and she's gonna move up to the second floor. So quickly, you need to get up there too. So task two is to activate the lifts to get up to that second floor. And this is a two person job on each side and is the same on each side. When you take out the taken captain, he'll leave behind a blight. One person's gonna pick that up and use it to cleanse a very specific spot that is not visible to the person who's holding it. The person holding the blight will see in the front of the room a line of the same symbol repeating five times, and will need to call out which symbol they see. At the same time, a second person will jump up into this little window, and they will see a series of different symbols spread around the room. The person in the window needs to find the symbol that the taken blight holder called out, 
and then guide the taken blight holder to the correct spot. Once they're in the correct spot, the blight holder can use the grenade ability to cleanse that spot and if correct, will activate the lift in the back cave. If they're wrong, you die. While the blight holder can't see any of the actual symbols, you will notice a faint taken looking aura that indicates you're near a symbol in general. But the person in the window will confirm if it's the correct one or not. The trickiest part I found with this task is just coordinating who's right and who's left the blight holder needs to move to. Since you're facing each other, sometimes the person in the window will say something like, it's at the bottom of the left stairs, and then the blight holder runs to their left down the stairs. But those are the right stairs for the person in the window, etc. So just be clear with each other. Keep in mind that at the same time, both teams are trying to do the same thing. So callouts can get confusing if you're trying to talk over each other. Have a system or make sure you know your caller's voice to avoid mistakenly going to the wrong one. Either way, once the lift is activated, your team will move up to the second floor, as will the other team as well. Then, everything I just explained happens again only in reverse order. Whoever had riven first on the first floor and flinched her will now DPS her and shoot her eyes this time. And whoever DPSed and shot the eyes on the first floor will instead flinch her and do the eye callouts. As I said earlier, this encounter has a cadence to it and a hidden timer. If you're too slow to activate the lifts and don't get up to the second floor to flinch Riven fast enough, she'll ultimately wipe the raid. It's kind of like a game of cat and mouse chasing her from floor to floor. After you've repeated all the same steps on the second floor and DPSed her, you'll activate the lifts another time following the same callout pattern and going up to the top floor where you started. There is a lockout timer on the Taken Blight, so you may have to switch roles here on the second floor. Once everyone's up on the top floor, all six players will be together again, and this is where things get a little interesting. Riven's going to show up four total times. The first three times, you will need to flinch her just like on the first two floors, and each time she will have two eyes that need to be written down or remembered. After she's shown up three times, you will now have a total of six eyes that you need to remember. You need to assign two to three people on these six eyes and shoot together after the damage phase ends, just like before. Then, the fourth time she shows up, it's DPS time. Everyone focus DPS on her mouth, and then after about 10 seconds or so, all of the eye shooters will count down together and shoot all six eyes at once. If done correctly, she'll flinch, and if any eye is shot wrong, or you take too slow to shoot the eyes, you wipe. Note, during this damage point, two ogres are going to spawn trying to push you, so titan walls are sure helpful to block their attack, or just assign someone to take them out with a super or something. Once she's flinched, everyone will get a Pervading Darkness debuff, which will stack quickly and kill you if you get the 10 stacks. All you have to do is sprint back to the plates you originally stood on to get rid of it. Once all six players are back on the plates, they will again open up and you'll drop down again to the bottom floor, just like at the beginning. But this time, you'll notice Riven has a ton of pimples all over her, and you can shoot those pimples and do massive amounts of damage. This is a big point in the fight because if you shoot enough pimples, you can push her to final stand. Watch out for the Axion darts that come out of them as they can be pretty lethal if you get hit by a few of them. If you don't push to final stand, you go down, repeat this whole process over again until you finally get her health to the final gate. Final stand is just like you're used to when you're cheesing her. Carefully jump up the platforms avoiding the phalanxes, get to the orb at the top, teleport back and damage her one last time. Then jump inside of her mouth and destroy her heart. And that's Riven Legit. Now, you're going to be ready come Pantheon if we end up having to do this as intended. If we don't, and we can one phaser, then you just wasted 8 minutes of your time. Thanks for watching, Guardians, and if you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. That way you can get alerted for any other raid or Destiny 2 content you might need. Thanks for watching.